Hi, I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Stephen Merchant. Hello. And Carl Pilkington. Hi. And we've made a brand new series in which we send Carl uh, around the world to see the Seven Wonders. Enjoy it? No, I hated it. That was sort of the point. I was hoping for that. Um, <laughs> it's called Nidia Abroad. I hate that as well. He <laughs> had <laughs> yeah, no say in the title. He thought it was called Carl Pilkington's Seven Wonders. No. No. An idiot abroad. You must be happy you're on Sky One, though. <laughs> <laughs> Stitched him right up. Right. The seven wonders of the world. Man's greatest achievements. Treasured by everyone. Or are they? If that was on my road, the council would be on it. They'd go, get that down. It's a death trap. <laughs> Carl Pilkington. It's like a pylon. <laughs> For people who don't know who Carl Pilkington is, how would you describe him? A little, round-headed, bald, mank, missing link, chimp-like buffoon. Right. And you're a mate of his, aren't you? I, I'm a good friend. I... It's hilarious, because it shows a man going through a bit of a crisis. I am knackered and I don't know how to get that across to them at home, that I'm pissed off. Complaining all the time. I'm not going on a camel again. Come on. I'm not going on a camel again. Wait. I'm not going on a camel again. Bollocks are squashed. He's out of his comfort zone through the entire series. Shit. Shit! I watch it and I just cry with laughter. It is the funniest documentary I've ever seen. Let me go home! Oh. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs>I should make it clear, I wanted to send our friend Carl Pilkington around the world because I thought it would broaden his mind. You know, he's the typical Little Englander, he's never really left his country, he's never gone anywhere very exciting. I, I thought it would inflame his imagination as he saw other parts of the world. Uh, I didn't think that. Um, I knew he'd hate it, and that's why I did it. Couldn't stand it. <laughs> There's no broadening of the mind going on. I don't know what you mean by that. What do you mean by that? What does that say mean? <laughs> what do you think it means? Well, just, I don't know, I was expecting a bit of mind broadening. <laughs> I summed it up! Ricky and I used to work on a radio station together and uh, we had a producer given to us who happened to be Carl Pilkington. We never met him before, he was just a guy. They gave him to press the buttons at the radio station. And uh, we were talking on the radio and one day we asked him a question and the answer was extraordinary. Because he says the most awful things so naively and sweetly. Things like Chinese people don't age well. I go, what? He goes... They don't age well. He says, you never see a 35-year-old one. I went, what do you mean? He went, wow, he said, they're good-looking when they're young, but then they age overnight. They're like a pair. <laughs> I mean... This is just ignorance. It, it's just ignorance. There's nothing malicious about him. Absolutely still quiet, folks. I'm fascinated by him, and, and he's fascinated me for seven years. I've never got bored with him. I've never got bored with the way he looks the way he thinks, what he says, the fact that I can introduce new experiences. It's so easy to introduce a new experience to him. He's showing you some York bushes, so he'll just... He's showing a lot. Yeah. If you want to see more, you'll have to pay... I don't want to see more. Yeah. I mean, the whole point of it, we came up with it. Right, that's, tell him that's enough. And we sort of sprung it on Carl. I've got your own show. Your own television show. On Sky. Travelling all over the globe, experiencing some of the phenomenons all paid, paid for. It's all paid, all for. paid for. What are these lot? Everywhere I go, these lot are coming, are they? Yeah. Well, they've got to. They've got to film it. Otherwise, you'd be by yourself and we wouldn't see it on the telly. <laughs> yeah. When we said to you, we're going to send you around the world, see the seven wonders of the world, what was your initial thought? I was worried. I don't really think you should go anywhere where you've got to have a jab. Do you know what I mean? I think that's kind of like a warning. It's trying to ruin the holiday already. Not even packed my bag yet. Look at this. It's already even packed. Oh, you've got to have some injections. What? what, what? Yeah, you've got to have injections. I had an injection to, to sort of protect me from dirty chimps. <laughs> I didn't know that was, that was ever going to be a problem in my life. Quite on edge. I'm not into travelling. 
I didn't go away until I was about 23 or something. It's never been something that's important to me, travelling. I'm quite happy being where I live and just knowing where everything is and being happy with it, so I'm, I'm going to be out of my comfort zone. Are you travelled? Would you say you're a well-travelled person? Where have you been? Wales. Went to Wales a lot. OK, Wales. Yeah, we used to just go to Wales. You know, it felt further away than it was because everyone spoke a different language. You learn and did they, or did they speak English with a Welsh accent? They spoke English, but as soon as an English person walked in, it flicked to Welsh. That's how they do it there. That's the only reason to keep it. They don't need that language. They don't need it. I mean, they don't. I, don't, I think they even know that. I don't know who's keeping it going. Ooh. But you don't need it. It's only down the road. Why are they talking a different language? No, it's not a tribe. What's wrong with them? Learn, learn English. All pull together. Anyway, what was my point? <laughs> <laughs> the fact it's called a wonder, straight away, it's annoying me. I'll decide what's a wonder if it's a wondrous to me. The Great Pyramids. Whoa, 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 hang on a minute. Let's just call them the Pyramids. <laughs> Let's have a look how great they are. <laughs> yeah. The Great Wall of China. Whoa, 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 whoa. hang on. <laughs> it's the all right Wall of China. They're building everything up. You know, you can see it for miles. It goes on for miles over the hills and everything. But so does the M6. Do you know what I mean? You can see that for miles. And you go, great, and that does a job. You can drive on that. I'm going to say the names of the seven wonders. I want you to just tell me in a few words your gut reaction. Yeah, your gut, gut reaction. reaction isn't wise, because it still hasn't settled since all these places. <laughs> I don't think that's going to have a clue. Right. It's rubbery. Rubbery. Chewy. How about testicle? That's a testicle. Aha. Uh -huh. And the chewy one. Penis. Your gut reaction when I say the words China? Weird. <laughs> well, what's weird? What's weird about it? You list what's normal here. In China, it will be weird. Like what? Toilets. Go on then. What's wrong with the toilets in China? They don't really have them. <laughs> they've got a, a building for it. They've gone, with the, they've gone with the man and woman sign. They've gone that distance. You go, oh, it's a toilet. It's just, I'll just nip in here. It's a toilet. Nothing, nothing weird. You go in. <laughs> No toilets, just, just holes. No doors. That's the other weird thing. They've sort of cubicles, no doors. So they can build the Great Wall, they can do a massive big wall, but they can't be asked putting MDF doors on. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. But again, that's just China for you. Have you seen this? Have you seen the things? And there's no toilet paper. What did they do here? Did they just pull up the pants and walk off? Is that, is that, is that what you do? I'm, I'm not here to say they should be using toilet paper, it's not right. If that's not what they do, that's not what they do. But it's just, I didn't know that. I didn't think China was going to be like this. I thought it was going to be more... Like I said, I thought it was where they'd made the iPod. I think I've got the wrong place, because this, this ain't a place where they need an iPod. Have a toilet roll first. I mean, it's weird, because whenever you buy stuff like that, toilet roll rollers and stuff, it says, made in China. Why aren't they fucking using them, then? What did you make of Peru? It's hard work, that. It's hard work, Peru. In the jungle, a lot of insects. More insects than people. I was the odd one out. When I got off the boat and got onto land, there was loads of stuff sort of coming to me straight away. Like, here's something new. Let's hassle it. Fuck! Fucking hell! I wanna go home. And there's no order to any of it. The little things can be deadly. The big things that look evil, they're friendly. Did you say it's poisonous or it's no, not it's poisonous? No, it's not poisonous. That's all. That's by you, but it's not poisonous. It's well, not that's poisonous. No, that's, they are, again, that's no good. They are... So these are the ones that wrap round you, yeah. and then you sort of breathe in. <sighs> What's that? It's weird stuff. That's why, you know, when people say God did all this and God made it all, you sort of go, he can't have done. He wouldn't have made that. I saw this fat worm. It's like, why would he have made that? <laughs> At what point? He did all this in seven days, they say. When did he do That's at the end. I reckon that's in the afternoon of the seventh day when he's going, I can't be arsed with this. Let's just make a little bit of a blob with a head on it. I mean, really weird-looking stuff that you go, I don't know what it's doing in the world. In the end, they ate one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! That's coming soon to Sky One in HD.
It's like a little tornado, isn't it? Yeah, you don't see that in the brochure, do you? Shitty old nappy whizzing through the air. I tend to leave that out. You've been to the Seven Wonders. How would you sell, honestly, sell these places to me? Uh, we're coming in a your travel agent. Carl Pilkington's travel. He's been around the world. He's seen all the sights. So we're going there. Hello. Um, we're thinking of going on holiday. Not that. My, my, me and my husband, Stephen. Well, what are you thinking? China. Mm. China? I like mm. chi China. Well, I'm not bother with that. Where, where have you been in the past? Well, we've been to Wales and we, we don't really understand the language. What they're saying? I don't know what they're saying at all. Oh, don't... forget China then. Oh. They're, they're, they're worse than the Welsh with their language. It's wow. mental. There's no, there's no order to it whatsoever. It's just, it's mental language. It's like aliens. So you don't want to go there. Have you thought of anywhere else? Hang on, you're supposed to be selling us a holiday to China. No, no, I'm not selling you. I've just got to sell you a holiday. So I'd right. say you don't want to go there. OK. How old are you? Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm 72. Right, well, you don't I'm 23. Want... <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, to be quite honest, I thought it'd be a bit more virile. Even though he's 23, his penis is actually 102. Why does he have that put on? Why does he have it put on? Is this any use? <laughs> I don't, know what, I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh, this is a break. Oh, I'm sweating. Totally spherical and empty. It reminds you of the globe. That's where we got the idea from, wasn't it? To send him around the world. <laughs> uh, we've got a new series um, coming to Sky One in HD, where we send our friend, Carl Pilkington, around the world. <laughs> Do you know why I think people enjoy it? What? If they have travelled, I think they'll be laughing at how ignorant this man is. Yeah. The chin looks a bit big. It's a bit sort of Jimmy Illish. And how he is not appreciating the wonderful opportunities we're giving him. And if people haven't travelled and they're scared of travel, I think they'll relate to Carl. I hate it. I think a lot of people are going to think it's brilliant and agree with everything you say. What do you think? Pandy pandy on crack. Carl, how would you describe this programme to people who are watching at home? They're tuning in, what are they going to expect? It's like Palin. It's a sort of a Michael Palin, travelling the world, showing them people at home. You know, Bob in Yorkshire, he's been in the factory all day, he's come home. He's not going to get out much. Um, he's on disability allowance. He doesn't want to be... Well, so he's it? working and signing up? Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Right. Has he paid his subscription or is he getting, getting dodgy? I think he gets it for free, you know, it's like these days. Right. It's like, oh, he can't go out much. What can we give him? Give him free subscription. It makes Sky look good and it's good, you know, keeps him happy. Sure. So he's, Sky he's... give away subscriptions probably. to people who are signing on and probably. claiming disability, that, really? Yeah, probably. That's, that's, that's a policy. So if you're signing on... And, no uh, and working, and you've got disability allowance. Just call uh, Sky, and you will get Sky One free in HD. Sky do not have a policy of giving away free subscriptions to anyone, whether they are working and signing on and claiming disability allowance or not. Please do not call, especially Bob in Yorkshire. Thank you. I don't know why it's in HD, a lot of it. Why? I don't know what, what that brings to it. Do you have to pay more for HD? I don't know, but why, what, what, what don't you think? Well, China. It's the greatest place I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't know why anyone would go, oh, that's, that's, look at the grey there, let's see it in HD, it's even greyer. How, how, how grey, <laughs> I don't understand that. I wouldn't want to feel like I'm there. I've been there, I don't want to feel like I'm there again. HD's great for looking at bright frogs. It'll probably be nice for episode seven, Peru. There's loads of nature stuff that you look, you go, look at the colour of that. China, dreadful. <laughs> that's China, that's summed up. Uh, if you're a travel agent, uh, black and white poster toilet just says China. Dreadful. <laughs> traffic's horrendous. It's not just the traffic, it's just beeping. But it just seems to be like people letting on to each other at four in the morning. Like, go home, what are you doing? I reckon I've had about an hour's kit. Uh, I mean, that song, Walk Like an Egyptian. No one's walking. 
Everyone seems to be in a car at all hours, just, just beeping. People say to me, oh, you've been around the world, that's, that's a good experience, isn't it? Oh, you, you're so lucky. And I start moaning, they're going, oh, why, is he, why did he get the trip? Look at him moaning. I could have gone there, I'd be over the moon. That's, that happens when, whenever you turn over. So you go, what's, what's that? And then the door's going, Aah! and that's going, and then the cleaner's outside giving it that. Lowest points of my life has been sort of during this programme. I've not been sleeping, I've not been eating, I'm getting bit to death and I can't have a shit. You were calling me up every day, giving me little, you know, bits of information. Oh, you're off to do this today. What are you calling now for? It's four o'clock in the morning, eh? Yeah, well, get up, you've got to go and do this. I never knew anything that was coming. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, it's, it's obviously some nudist beach, isn't it? I've never seen anyone bend over so much as him. This wasn't a free holiday. I thought it was going to be when I signed up to this. You know, if you'd have called me up when I was sort of in that tent in the middle of the Amazon at three in the morning as I'm pissing into an Evian bottle, it's hard to see how you were doing me a favour. Why were you going into a bottle when you're in the middle of the jungle? Go out. No, because it's in the middle of the night. Can't go out. See, this is what I mean with you. You think you know it all. Just go out. Yeah, I'll tell you what then. Let's go back and let's see you go out in the middle of the night in the jungle. There's all sorts out there. The noise that's in the jungle is... Nothing goes to bed at night. That's why there's a lot of nocturnal stuff. No one can get their eyes shut. Everything's off. <laughs> Snakes going, stuff clip. There was something outside the tent. I'm not joking. It was man size. And it was making a human noise. <laughs> Was it a human? No, no. Like a I'm talking yeah. like gorilla type noise. Right. Well, that's terrifying. And you're saying, no, just step out. <laughs> yeah. For a piss. But he could go in the tent if he wanted, couldn't he? No. What is what a thin sheet of nylon keeps him. All right, lads, oh, don't go in there. No, there's there's, some, don't know, does there's it? a bit of cloth. There's a bit of cloth. We can't get through that. Wait till he comes out for a piss. He's got an Evian bottle. <laughs> We're oh. screwed. I'm just saying, I, poured, I had to <laughs> empty. I had to empty the Evian bottle in the morning. No, in the night, because it was only a little one like So that. you pissed in the tent and then emptied it out, so you went out there anyway? Yeah, but it's just me hand going out, going like that and coming back in again. Surely you'd rather lose your penis than your hand. No, no, nothing wants your penis. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Honestly, there's some weird stuff out there. Do you know these fish in the Amazon that go up your knob? <laughs> now everyone's saying to me, you've seen the Amazon? That's amazing. Well, how come the stuff that lives in it doesn't want to live in it? They'd rather live in my knob <laughs> than live in, the, live in the river. So you're telling me that I'm meant to be lucky. That's what I'm saying. Nowhere safe. You can never relax. In Jordan, I was in a tent with a load of local people. Mm. Right, look at this. Don't put too, um, too much of that on, on, on my bit. I can't, um, I can't have too much of that. Oh. Eat more. It's a meat. It's, it's from meat. the goat. What, what bit is it though? That's not eye. meat. This is the eye. I can't this... eat eye. I'll tell you now, I've got a very bad gag reflex. Now if I eat that and I start gagging, that doesn't look good either. <laughs> They'll think I'm rude. And that's the annoying thing. I end up feeling bad because I'm meant to be a guest. But just because you're a guest, it doesn't mean you've got to start eating lamb's eyes. There's a whole animal there. A lamb's that big. Why are we eating that bit? Put that in the bin. <laughs> Let's have a go at all that. <laughs> and people will be watching it going, he's out of order there. He should have joined in. He's in their country. He's in their tent. I didn't want to be. You two sent me there. And they've got to remember that. That was never part of a plan. Tell me why, though. Why is this traditional Chinese massage? I think it relaxes. No, it doesn't relax me. So what does it do? What, why is she setting fire to me? What good is it doing me? Don't just stand there saying it's traditional. It's traditional, it's what they do here, it's a delicacy. What is she doing? Nietzsche said, that which does not kill you makes you stronger. No, that doesn't always work. There's loads of things. What? Well, I don't want to bring the tone down, but there's a lot of illnesses that don't make you stronger. They make you weaker and you get weaker and you die. That's someone who's positive thinking. But I'd like to say to him, wake up, Nietzsche. That, ain't, that isn't always the case. And that's, maybe that's me being down on things again instead of always looking at the positive side. Oh, I'd love side. you to say to Nietzsche, wake up, Nietzsche. <laughs> I'd love it, I'd love it, just to sit you with these great philosophers. Oh, 
better on you. Wow. You look just like a wrestler. More like a right knobhead. Hey, come on. Squat and then jump and kick your legs. Like yeah, go ahead. Awesome. Try it. Whoa! Good job! Obviously, there are people whose job it is to comment are you ready? on TV shows they've watched. The critics. Thoughts? They are going to hate it. Because they, they think they know what a travel programme should be like. They're not going to enjoy this. No. But, you know, some people will, won't they? Not everybody likes couscous. You know, everybody pulled the face at me when I was in Egypt. I have some of that, I don't want any. Everyone's like that, really? <laughs> So they am the odd one out because I don't want couscous. No, I don't want it. I don't need it in my life. But it's annoying that everybody else seems to think I should be eating it. And it's the same with the critics. You won't like this, everyone. Well, let them de de decide. Mm. Let them watch it. Make mm. up their own minds. And that's all I'm saying. Just say, watch it. It's on Sky. They've paid for Sky anyway. It's a subscription. Use it. You've paid for it. Watch it. <laughs> they're the idiot if they're going, I'm not watching this. They've paid for it. <laughs> they're the idiot. <laughs> If you could bring one thing that you saw abroad on your travels, you go, OK, I've got to choose one thing. This is the best of the rest. What? I'm, I'm taking a wonder away from another country. No, not a wonder. Anything. Like, Sir Walter Raleigh brought back spuds and tobacco. Now everyone loves a bit of mash and fags. Well, it was easy back then. We had nothing here. Mm. Now, everything, everything that's sold in America is here straight away anyway. It's hard to be... If Walter was around now, I don't think he'd be bringing anything back. Because it'd be a straw donkey or a big axe. Look at the shite people bring back from holiday. I think his family would be there going, what's he brought last time? He brought some great presents and fags and some spuds. What's he got now? He'd go, there's nothing. I've got your fridge magnet. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring, honestly, I didn't bring anything back. I very rarely brought anything back as a little memento. Did you bring Suzanne, your girlfriend, back anything from these trips? Yeah, I got her like a, a, a turtle like you blow into its arse and it makes a tune, but she hasn't played with that. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. You are the strangest man on the planet. You haven't been to China. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. See you later. Oh. Done.